There is only one fourth generation cephalus born, and that drug is cefepime. Cefepime is sometimes grouped with ceftazidime as anti-pseudomonal cephalosporins, but for the sake of these classifications, cefepime remains the only fourth generation cephalosporin. Cefepime shares the same mechanism of action as other cephalosporins. Cephalosporins kill bacteria by interfering with the transpeptidation reaction by binding to and inhibiting transpeptidase. Cephalosporins are cell wall synthesis inhibitors and are bactericidal. For more details on this mechanism, please refer to the video that focuses on cephalosporins as a whole. Beta-lactamase degradation remains a concern with cefepime. However, cefepime is resistant to certain beta-lactamases, specifically AMP-C beta-lactamases, which allow cefepime to exhibit activity in enterobacter species and pseudomonas species. Energy-dependent efflux can still confer cefepime resistance in pseudomonas species. Cefepime shares mechanisms of resistance that other cephalosporins possess. Refer to the video that covers cephalosporins as a whole for more details. The fourth generation of cephalosporins, and primarily cefepime, expands the gram-negative coverage of the third generation cephalosporins even more to include activity against P. aeruginosa. Furthermore, cefepime provides excellent coverage of enterobacter species. Additionally, cefepime has a spectrum of activity similar to that of the third generation cephalosporin, ceftriaxone. This includes coverage for most gram-negative and gram-positive bacteria, resistance to narrow-spectrum beta-lactamases, and poor activity against B. fragilis. The adverse effects of cefepime are similar to the adverse effects described in the cephalosporin overview video. Hypersensitivity to the beta-lactam ring remains the most common adverse effect. This concludes the video. Thanks for watching. Please direct any questions to me on Twitter at Sheehy underscore Ryan. I've also included my sources here. Thanks again.